I guess this is the time I say something, right? Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and uh, today we got Gunslinger, Milltown, Burger King, Suicidal. I talked uh, briefly yesterday, I believe, about a, uh, a manga that I was reading that uh, was following a cliche that I was hyper-disappointed in, and I have to apologize to that manga because they redeemed themselves. I, uh, I continued reading it, and they did end up, um, like, doing a bit of a time skip. He went away to, uh, to America for a while, but they did end up, like, getting married and, like, having a kid and stuff. So I was like, you know what? It's, it, it there's at least a, a certain climax to it. Um, but even, like, the time skip was, like, seven years. They're getting married. And, like, even after they're married, they're still calling each other by their surnames. I'm like, you have the same surname. Why are you calling each other by your surname still? Uh, if you guys aren't aware, um, in Japan, it's it's considered polite to call people by their uh, their surnames. Using first names is like a, you know you're on you're friendly, you know family, close friends, partners, you know whatever. Um, or uh, if you're in the presence of like multiple people, you might use like a, a nickname maybe or, or, or the uh, the first name or something. Um, but. When you're getting married, you don't really use their surnames still. So it was... It, 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 it went from, like, me reading that part and being like, ah, oh, this is going to be, like, a, a 3 out of 10, to, like, you know what, maybe maybe like a 5 out of 10. <laughs> maybe, like, a 5 out of 10. It ended up redeeming itself a little bit, but it was still cliched uh, romance stuff. And honestly, that whole, like, first name, surname kind of thing in... Uh, manga and, and anime and, and stuff. Uh, it's like it's just Japanese culture, right? But like uh, the only place that I get to experience any of that kind of uh, stuff is in um, manga or anime, right? And uh, it's always super kind of like strange because to me, I don't have a problem with calling somebody I meet by their first name because I live in Canada and that's what we do, right? Like that's that's the normal thing, right? It would, be, it would be considered weird to call somebody by their last name. Unless they were, like, you know, a teacher, doctor, you know, you know something like that. You might call them, you know, doctor, you know, whoever. I was trying to think of a, a last name, but I couldn't. But, um, you know, you don't know, really use last names. So when I'm reading it and there's like such a huge importance placed on on using somebody's first name it's it's really just like strange because it's like it's not something I'm used to right because uh, you know oftentimes especially in romance they'll uh, they'll make a point of like changing to using you know first names for each other and then they'll use it and they'll be like super embarrassed and whatever and I'm like I don't know like I, I couldn't be embarrassed by that, <laughs> you know what I? Because, because it's not, it's not what, uh, what I, you know, was raised to, 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 to kind of have. You know, those, those values aren't, aren't there for me at all. Um, just, just different cultures, right? So it's, it's always very. I don't know if there's like a milder form of culture shock, because it's not culture shock, but it's, it's like a. Kind of the same thing. It's just like you know, my, minus the, the shock part. But like just saying culture doesn't really work, but you know, it's uh, it's 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 peculiar to say the least. Anyway, today is the twenty third. It's exciting, right? Tomorrow's the twenty fourth. It's Christmas Eve. We got uh, plans to go visit the grandparents and celebrate Christmas tomorrow. I'm excited about that. It's been a a little while since I've seen them last. A few weeks now. Um, so it'll be nice to be able to go see them again. It'll be nice to go see them again. It'll be exciting. It's been uh, it's been a while since I last celebrated Christmas. About uh, about a year now, actually. Funny enough, it's almost lined up to exactly a year. Who would have thought? But uh, it'll it'll be nice. I don't know what we're doing for food. I think we're having. No, I can't remember. I was told at one point what the what the the dinner plan was, but it's, it's I I guess I decided I was okay with it and then just forgot about it, so it's gone. But it'll probably be it'll probably be good. 
Christmas is generally speaking a time when, uh, typically anyway, when I get to eat some more, like, traditional Portuguese food, you know? It's, it's typically the time where, where we'll splurge on, uh, on a nice stew or something. I don't know what we're having this year. It might just be, like, chicken or something, but, um, get out of here. But, uh, typically it's, it's a, it's a day where, the 24th anyway, because I celebrate it with my, uh, my grandparents, of course, who are Portuguese. We, we typically have a nice Portuguese dinner, which is, uh, something I tend to look forward to. I'm a fan of Portuguese cuisine. Largely. Some of it's, like, terrible. Um, particular, uh, my family makes, um, we'll make chorizo. Uh, uh, chorizo, but we call it chorizo. It's the Portuguese way of saying it, I guess. Um, we make uh, we make chorizo, and uh, they uh, my family will like make scrambled eggs with some like sliced potatoes and uh, throw some chorizo in it, and then. Uh, you know, call that a dinner with like a, a bun or something like that. To me, it's just terribly disgusting. I love potatoes. I love eggs. I love shadis. You put them all together in one dish, and it's just like. It's just gross to me. I don't know why. I used to love it, but it's just gross to me. I do love some, some good old homemade shadis, though. There's just something uh, that's, that's just particularly good when, uh, you know, when you make something exactly to your taste. <laughs> you know? Broken People are always like, oh, there's something different about a home-cooked meal. Yeah, it's that it was made to be good for you, you know? When you go to a restaurant or something, they're making it to be good for, like, everybody. When you when you eat a, a nice home-cooked meal, like, it's, it's built specifically for you, you know? Like, it's tailor-made for you. Of course it's gonna be better. At least if you're, like, a... Go, at least if your family's like half decent at cooking anyway. Your, your family might be, you know, garbage at cooking. A home cooked meal might not necessarily be something that you look forward to, but. For me, it is on Christmas Eve at least. For me, it is on Christmas Eve. My, uh, my grandparents used to make uh, the Christmas Eve dinner, but they've uh, since given up that responsibility, I mean, you know, you, you get old, it's uh, it's harder for you to find the time to, to make it. You know, like, it would take for, like, a, a proper, like, good, traditional, you know, Portuguese dinner. Like, it takes hours to, like, make the stew and um, whatever meat you're going to have. And, like, like it, it takes hours. It's not it's not a quick process by uh, by any means. And so it's, uh, it's 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 very reasonable that uh, as they've grown older, they've uh, not had the time to, to make it anymore. You know, making you know, maybe a turkey or something. Sometimes we had to, but it's just, it's just it's a time-consuming process. So we've uh, we've had to take over the responsibility, and I say I say we, but it's it's really mostly been my mother because I'm not I'm not I'm not you know I love cooking, but I'm not I'm not into cooking for a bunch of people. You know, I, I know my tastes, and I love cooking stuff that I like. But if you want to, if you want me to make something for somebody else, like it's it's not very fun. Unless they, and like, you know, maybe one person, but like for like a bunch of people, I'm like, okay, I have to like take everybody's taste into account. What does everybody like? And like, you know, it's just, it's just too much effort for me. I'm fine with just ordering sushi. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't, I don't need any anything special. But I do look forward to it anyway. It's uh, my mother's not necessarily the best cook in the world. She's uh, honestly, I might, I might even consider her as a uh, a particularly you know bad cook for for most days. Um, but I, that's mostly just because of um, like time constraints. You know, when you're working full time and uh, you have like a commute and all this, like. You just, you don't want to cook. She doesn't like cooking so much, and it's like, uh, you know, you're not, you're not necessarily going to be good at something you like, you know? It's not the end of the world to be a, a bad cook, but I wouldn't necessarily uh, consider her to be particularly great. However, she is, uh, 
You know, it's kind of uh, any any recipe that's been passed down to the family. You know, and any you know, oh, it's my grandma's recipe, and you know, anything like that. It's uh, always delightful. So I do look forward to the Christmas Eve dinner, even though I don't look forward to pretty much any of our other dinners. She just she puts more time into it. She enjoys making it. She looks forward to it, and it really shows in the, in the cooking. You know, when when somebody's doing something that they're not really excited about, it, it shows. You know, you can tell. In anything, with uh, with content, with uh, cooking, or or anything you got, you know, if, if somebody's really excited and passionate about it, it, it makes a difference. It uh, it does. Anyway, I'm excited for it though. I don't know what we're gonna be having. I know what we're having for Christmas Day. Christmas Day, we're apparently having uh, steak and crab. Apparently, with uh, with some champagne. We always have champagne on Christmas Day. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not necessarily a uh, an uncommon tradition to have in, uh, in a household. I'm pretty sure that's that's a, uh, a fairly common um, thing to do on Christmas Day. But uh, we we definitely oblige. I don't think anybody in this household particularly likes champagne either, honestly. We mix it. Uh, we mix it with a bit of orange juice for breakfast, and that's our uh, that's our good morning coffee. Open up the presents and all that. I mean, I don't, but uh, I watch them open them and uh, enjoy a nice uh, breakfast or something. So it's a nice day, honestly. It is. Can be anyway. It used to be really stressful for me when uh, when I was still accepting presents just because like I didn't like it, <laughs> you know. But um, nowadays uh, I don't I don't have to, to deal with that kind of stress anymore, and I just get to kind of have a good time, and it's it's much better. That's why I get uh, like super super angry when people are like, "I just can I just give you a present, please? Can I just give you a present?" I'm like, "You have no idea. You have no idea how unbelievably selfish you're being by trying to like force that stress on me again." Like it's no, no. <laughs> you're you're not. Your your present to me is a burden. I'm I'm not accepting it. I'm sorry. But uh, these days, uh, people don't really give me presents, and I appreciate that because I get to kind of relax and just enjoy the day for what it is. Have uh, have a good time with the family and eat some good food. I uh. I don't particularly care for steak, but my family, my, my mother in particular, my mother and my father are, uh, you know, they're the people buying the food, so they get to decide what we eat. My sister and I, I don't think either of us are, are particularly interested for steak, or like particularly excited for steak and crab. Like, it's a very extravagant, you know, glamorous dinner, but it's uh, not necessarily... An excellent meal. I prefer I prefer lobster to crab for for one. I'm uh, I'm a fan of uh, of lobster. Um, crab is just cra like the 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 thing for crab for me is it's just annoying to eat. Like the the, the flavor between crab and lobster I consider to be fairly similar. I don't uh, I don't really personally view there to be like. From from a taste perspective, for one of them to be better than the other, I I, I think that they're pretty equivalent in how much I like them. But uh, lobster is just like a billion times easier to eat. <laughs> you you have like a tail, some claws, and then uh, you know maybe if you're feeling into it, you got the uh, you get to slurp up the the brains and guts and stuff. I don't know what to uh, what you slurp up inside of it, but. There's uh, there, there's all kinds of goodness inside the uh, the body as well. You just have to make sure you get rid of the uh, the um, digestive tract so you don't eat poop. But other than that, it's all edible. The shell included. You you can eat the entire thing outside of the digestive tract. You don't want to eat poop. That's that'll you know make you sick. But the rest of it, you know, you got you got all the organs. You got all the the shells. You got the you know, whatever else, it's all edible. It's just how how far do you want to take it, you know? Shell isn't that bad, honestly. I think I think a lot of people are scared of uh, of shellfish shells. Um, 
I think a lot of people are scared of it, for sure. Um, they don't. But I, I think that uh, it's honestly, I think it's more of a uh, a mental sort of uh, block than than anything else. I like the, the reality is, as long as it's cooked well, the the shell on on uh, you know crustaceans or something, it's not actually bad. Like prawns or something, you can eat the shell on them. It's fine. I do. It's not bad. As long as it's cooked right. If it's like mushy and stuff, it's not good because then it's like chewy and, and kind of crunchy-ish, but not good. Um, but if it's like, if you get like tempura or something like that, just eat the shell, dude. You won't, e you won't even notice it, okay? Ser seriously, genuinely, genuinely. Next, if you guys ever have, uh, if you guys ever go to like a Japanese restaurant or something like that and you order tempura and you get like some tempura prawn, just eat, just eat the tail. Just do it. Tr trust me. Trust, trust me on that, okay? Just, just, just Many have tried to forget about it and just eat the whole thing. You, think you, are you probably won't even notice when what part is the tail because it's all crunchy. It's all fried and, and crunchy. The, the tail is just more of that delicious tempura um, crunchiness, you know? People, people get freaked out when you do it, though. But, like, genuinely. If it's, uh, you know, if you get, like, garbage, soggy tempura, then it's going to be gross. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're, if you're at a place where it's, like, you know, freshly cooked and, like, properly crunchy, then, uh, you, you, like, the tail won't even make a difference. Genuinely, you won't even notice it. And, uh, you know, you can eat the lobster shell, you can eat the whatever. Anyway, I just, I like lobster more. And the steak, I, uh... I don't particularly care for it, so I, I told them, uh, you know, yeah, we can have steak and crab if you want, but I'm cooking my own steak. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm deeply sorry, but that, uh, that steak is being cooked by me. I'm not, I'm not letting somebody else cook my steak. And I want it grilled. Okay. My, my steak is going on my cast iron skillet. It's getting seared, it's getting tossed in the oven, and I'm basting it. It's going to be a delicious steak. And they're all going to be jealous. And uh, regardless, though, it is uh, it is Christmas Eve tomorrow, so that's exciting, right? It's exciting. Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. It's a bit of a short video. I guess this is a fast map, um, but that's okay. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.